Remember the good old days where guys had so much rivalry that it led to beef and then ESPN had to do a special 10 years after they retired so they could squash it. Please tell me Kate Cunningham and Jalen Green are bringing that back. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to The Fumble. I'm your host, Jackie Ray. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell if you haven't already. And then do me a favor. Head on over to Instagram and Twitter and follow me at JRayTheFanatic. Now, for the most part, Summer League is just fun to watch. But usually, it's a lot to do about nothing. But we had a really good draft class this season, so I think all of us are a little bit more invested to see how some of these rookies will look. But me... I'm just here for the number two pick, Jalen Green, saying he should have been the number one pick and walking around with a chip on his shoulder. So, of course, the game between the Rockets and the Pistons was must-see TV. There were not a lot of oh-my-god moments, but Cunningham and Green were clearly there to battle it out with each other. You could tell early on that they were both more concerned about their individual matchup than they were the game. Now, before you say, oh, that is bad, what about the team? First of all, stop it. It's Summer League. Second of all, you guys are probably the same ones that call the league soft. Let the rookies give us that edge because we need it. Both players had their moments. Jalen Green had the better stat line, 25 points, 6 for 11 in shooting. But Cade Cunningham did his thing as well, 20 points, 8 of 18. Now, to be fair, this rivalry, should it develop, is going to be 100% because of Jalen Green. He got his shot over Cade and instantly did this stare down. At first, I didn't like it because it's the summer league. But then I watched Malice in the Palace and I remember how much I loved Ron Artest back in the day. Oh, those were the good old days. Jalen will never be that much of a menace, let's be clear. At least I don't think so. His jabs are just way too subtle, but we still know what he is feeling. I love this. Keep that chip on your shoulder. Keep feeling that you should have been picked number one. Even better, become rookie of the year. He seems unfazed now, but I think that might make Cade feel some type of way and we can push this rivalry to the forefront. But am I wrong for wanting to see this or are we missing this kind of intensity in the game? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Once again, I'm Jackie Ray. Thanks for watching The Fumble and we'll see you next time.